Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, Burning Dog fans. We continue to explore the Palace of Uruk with Tut, uh, bravely using his, uh, indestructible body as, uh, the solution to all manner of puzzles. This is purely an aesthetic thing, but I, I would have left a fire in the... This is very Prince of Persia here. Too bad. I don't seem to have uh, accomplished any. Oh, hey! Okay, that's what that one does. Open sesame! You got the Earth Planetarium key. Uh, I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, Ancient Egypt, but Earth doesn't have any rings. I have to admit, what am I doing? I just need to go back. I have to admit, a little bit disappointed in myself. There's a, an achievement for getting all of the Onyx Scarabs. I didn't think that uh, they could escape. Oh, wait. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. It's not even the right one! Okay, can I get there from here? Yes. How the hell am I gonna do that? That one didn't have time to get going. Alright, I'm gonna need to... Let me try something. I am really gonna need to haul ass on this one. God damn. Oh, this is gonna suck. Ah! I didn't think the scarab, the onyx scarabs, would be missable the way the regular ones are. Run, dead man, run! Get up!
Oh, it just recharged my fire. Thanks for that. Oh, okay, that's how you open the exit. Great. I don't know where that is. Maybe that's what this is for. Yoink! First try! Wouldn't it be neat if Earth did have rings? That'd be really pretty, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, alright. Fair enough. Damn it! trying to think wait I don't know if that's even possible there were I think there were burnable things in the original one the one of the Sun symbol but I'd have to go to the moon room get on fire come back here change the key I don't know if that's even possible. I mean, for one thing, I would have to move the things out here. Oh, I couldn't do that! I can only use one of them because I can't make it otherwise. Or, no, wait. Before I actually dedicate myself to this task... Am I thinking the wrong room? No, no, damn it. I don't know what I was doing there. Come on. So I was thinking to myself, oh no, it was that door there. That's right. I just need to do this in order to get flat. Let's just take a peek anyway, since I've already gone to all the trouble. Okay, yeah. I think I'm good. What happens when you reach the end of the bar, anyway? I was really hoping he'd stick his thumb in his mouth and blow, like in a cartoon. Yeah, give me the sun. Praise Ra. Alright. Sorry about that. Ah! You found the wings of Ibis. Oh shit. What? What? I disintegrated.
I think I'm dead again. Isn't it used up a piece of his soul? That's really messed up. What have we here? It's one of the stolen jewels of Abydos. I knew something suspicious was going on. We must find out exactly what treachery is afoot. Ah, this is very interesting. The prince has managed to find the lost wings of Ibis within the castle. It is an ancient magical artifact that was stolen a long time ago. It gives its owner the agility of a bird enabling them to jump greater heights and longer distances. Keep Basket with you now, as well as these items. I'm sure they will be very useful in your quest. Do I have to take the purse with me, too? If you had the Book of the Dead, you could find send Basket to Tutankhamun when you find a canopic vase. I have a feeling the book may be in the Cursed Palace somewhere, so perhaps you should go and speak to Anubis about the palace's unfortunate inhabitants. Horus already left to visit him, but I see your fate and his are diverging now. And then he's disintegrated too. You got the wings of Ibis. With this magical artifact, Sphinx can perform a second jump to reach greater heights and longer distances. Press A to jump, then press A again in midair to somersault! And here I was hoping that it would be like, you got the 70 onyx scarabs that the mummy collected in the castle of Uruk. You know what's funny? I thought that was going to be a, an item for the mummy. I guess it's the the idea is that Sphinx gets the items like in a you know traditional Zelda style game, and uh, Tut just gets uh, you know environmental context sensitive stuff like being set on fire and electrocuted and stuff. I was really hoping it would be like, oh, you see the wings appear for a second and they flap once, you know. Basket is a magical object who can transport objects between Sphinx and the Mummy once you have the Book of the Dead. Find the Book of the Dead so you can summon Basket when you find a canopic vase. Imhotep believes the book is being held in the Cursed Palace. Visit Anubis at Great Wall Entrance 1. Anubis is responsible for cursing the inhabitants of the Cursed Palace. With the wings of Ibis, you can enter Great Wall Entrance 1 and pay a visit to Anubis. Oh, thank god. It is done! You know what? Fuck that. I'm gonna go put those, uh, jewels back and see- oh, you've undisintegrated. Welcome! Honestly, this will get me closer to the other thing anyway. Although we'll have to pay for, uh, passage back here, I guess. Praise be to the portal of God! Ugh, stretch. Three frames per second. I don't mind that. Frame rates often go wonky in uh, loading screens, even in the most stable games. Can you imagine being like a homeless guy, just like, you know, sitting down in the sewers, it's slightly more cool than roasting in the sun. And, uh... That happens. Someone uses the portal for the first time in like a hundred years. So this big stone monster that's been there your entire life suddenly 
rears back, screams, and spits out a ball of energy that turns into a dude. And, you know, if I mess this up, then I can just load the game. Was there music here before? Yes, there was. That's right. Hmm. That's kind of eerie, actually. Okay, so the concept of music hasn't broken, just here. I guess I'm not supposed to be here. I, I did. I mean, it's it's right here. I've got it. Yeah. I talked to you already. You said those exact words before. Stolen jewel. Here you go. Astounding! You've recovered the stolen jewel of Shu. The city can never thank you enough for this. However, as a token of our gratitude, please accept this gold onk piece. Oh, okay. It's a piece of heart, basically. You got a gold onk piece. Collect four of these, and a person with the right skills will be able to increase your health capacity. Thank you! That is a very generous reward. I know it's just the one, right? Yeah. Yeah, while I'm in town, maybe I'll buy that, uh... Lizard Frog thing. Oh! Music back! Music back. I didn't emphasize the S enough. Bum, 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 bum. How many dollar days do I have? Uh, that's not an ability. I don't need, you know, that. I always expect there to be a jar over in that corner for some reason. Oop. Nothing there except a generic, uh... Little plant. Growing out of the stone somehow. Sand. I would like your smynest, your, your smynest, hmm, I'm going to say your finest frog, but then I looked at the word small and the SM sound popped into my head. Thank you. Oh, it is up here, duh. This frog may well be small, but it isn't the friendliest critter around. Indigenous to swamplands, they're noxious little critters. Kind of looks like, I don't know, something you'd see in a Jim Henson production.
show this uh, Let's Play is not sponsored by the uh, recent revival of uh, The Dark Crystal. Huh. I guess that was the line is painted on. Let's go drop this thing off and we'll be done with it. A small frog! It's certainly small, but also toxic. Why, thank you so much for your donation, sir. The former glory of our museum is beginning to be restored. That one didn't sound quite as uh, sarcastic as the uh, rat one did. So this guy's feet must be like leather. Small frog. The small frog originates from the toxic swamp lands. As a result, it is very resistant to toxic substances. It doesn't really tell me anything useful except, oh, don't try to poison me. This jewel was kindly donated by Lady Nut, renowned for holding the most extravagant wedding ceremony. The number of guests in attendance exceeded the population of the town in which it was held. Huh. And why was it called the Jewel of Shoe? Kind of reminds me of the uh, Come From Away thing, where a uh, more American. Uh, I don't know you'd call them, people who are uh, flying, you know, seizing airlines on the day of 9-11, uh, all got dropped off in a tiny town in uh, Newfoundland. Well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. When we head back to Heliopolis, where the music will hopefully have returned, and, uh, go say hello to Anubis. Later!